Hey there, everybody. Welcome to the next Willow Mill. And check out this yummy, garlicky, brown, sugar, sugar, pork chops and sides. Darling, this is truly southern on your plate. Scoop up this recipe and tell me what you think. Have fun. Well, let's cook and get looking. Are y'all ready for the next Willow Mill? I sure am. Let's get to spinning. What we cooking? Dinner. Cooking it on or in. Stove top. Protein. Pork. Sides or accompaniments, bread, plating it on or in, something edible, messing with chef, something sweet, sugar, sugar. How about some brown sugar, sugar, garlicky pork chops, yum. Grab your favorite pan and six of your pork chops and let's head to the stove. Now you want to wash these chops up and pat them dry because we're about to season them. Salt and pepper both sides, but I do a hog rub, my own seasoning, so that's what I'm going to use. Add in a tablespoon and a half of your EVOO. I'm using this roasted garlic I found. It's yummy, y'all. Once it's hot, add in your pork chops. Cook for five minutes on the front side, and then flip them over. Cook for four minutes. Go preheat your oven to 400. While that's cooking, let's mince up four garlic cloves. Darlings, I got a southern card bone to pick with somebody. While I was pandering around in the store, look what I found. Popping fresh cornbread. What? Pillsbury? All right, do you get to keep your southern card or not? We about to try it. Grab your muffin tin, spray it with Pam. Grab your canned cornbread, yep, pop it open. And that's what it looks like. It's already perforated, so you just pull it apart according to them. Pop them in the oven for 14 to 17 minutes at 375. And back to our chops, you want to add them to a pan. And to that pan, you want to add four tablespoons of your butter. Melt it down. Add in a third cup of your pat brown sugar. Sugar. Your minced garlic. Half a teaspoon of your red pepper flakes, or whatever you can tolerate. Half a teaspoon of paprika. Third teaspoon of your dry thyme. Stir it up, cook it for about one minute. And mix up a cup of your Nyors beef bouillon. Whisk it in. Now take them pork chops and I want you to pour this sauce all over it. Pop them in the oven so they can finish cooking. You want at least 145 degrees. It's pork, no trichinosis here. Oh, and that's anywhere between 14 and 17 minutes. Let's check on that bread. Okay, Pillsbury. Now for the taste. I do believe y'all know exactly what time it is. Well, good lord in the morning, darlings. Look at this beautiful plate of brown sugar, sugar, garlic pork chop chef has for y'all. With some green beans and new taters, a little bit of mac and cheese, and darling Pillsbury, yep, that canned cornbread. Do they get to keep their southern card? I guess we fixin' to find out, darlings. This is truly southern on a plate. Now in my mouth. Come on. Darlings, P.S. and yes, in bon appetit. Ain't she beautiful? Yes, darling. I dropped a mic on that one. Here goes nothing. Not bad, but not southern enough for my kitchen. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, the cornbread turned out beautifully. It even tasted a little bit like that sweet boxed kind. But you know what? I'd rather just make it from scratch. But anyhow, scoop up the recipe for the other stuff and darlings. Go put some southern on your plates and in your mouth. See you at the next Willow Meal. Bye.